Hello, greetings. My name is Drew Brown and you're here with me today at the Google Pen Company to talk about new products of which we have several and they're all pens today. So it's gonna be a pen centric sort of video. And we're going to kick things off with one that I'm really excited about. Um, not because it was kind of my idea, but because it is just objectively fun. And that is the Bennu Confetti Milkshake in their Euphoria model. And yes, it has sprinkles. I don't know of any other fountain pen currently available, at least, or ever, that has sprinkles inside of it. So naturally, I think this is something to be excited about. It is, like I said, their Euphoria model, which is always uh, draws inspiration from things that bring you joy, simple pleasures in life. That's why all the titles in the Euphoria line, regardless of whether or not um, they're sold here or anywhere else, always have that sort of um, theme to them. So this theme is the confetti milkshake, confetti cake, confetti whatever you want it to be. It is a celebratory pen. It is fun, it is whimsical, it is just full of joy. And it extends to the grip section as well as the threads. You just see joyous, happy times everywhere. You've got a pink center band with a silver Bennu logo there, and then you've got blue threads with a green grip leading all the way up to the Schmidt Steel Number no. 6 nib that Bennu has on this model. And uh, this is a cartridge converter pen. It will uh, come with a cartridge and there will be a full size, a long standard international cartri uh, cartridge as well as the, uh, as well in the box. Did I just call this thing a converter or did I call it a cartridge? I always get nervous because I always say the wrong thing. Anyway, it does post. It's a pretty lightweight pen overall. Um, well, it's a pretty long pen when posted. I don't know if that's necessary. This is just long enough, but it's a pretty lightweight pen. So um, even though it, uh, I guess, is a little larger, um, definitely not a heavyweight by any means. A lot of fun with this pen. It is uh, going to be sold for $150, and it is available only at the Goulet Pen Company. It's one of our exclusive pens within our refreshment collection, which includes heavy hitters like the Iced Caramel Latte. So check that one out too if you like this and are just a fan of writing with delicious beverages. <laughs> so we can move on from that. Um, next up is also a pen that has a lot of uh, interesting things going on with the material. Uh, that is going to be the Edison Collier in Garolite. So this is a first for the Edison Pen Company. Edison, uh, having long been known for working with beautiful acrylics, this time they're working with a material known as Garolite. And if you've ever seen a Micarta or G10, this isn't unlike that material. Officially, uh, Garolite is a glass-reinforced thermoset composite AKA fiberglass laminate. Um, it's, you know, bonded with epoxy, so it's super stable, very durable, and, uh, you know, just, uh, it's not gonna get beat up too easily. Very, very strong. Um, the grip section is not Garolite. You'll see that that is just a, um, kind of a caramel butterscotch resin um, with a Yovo steel nib up there with the Edison logo laser etched on it. Um, cartridge converter pen and um, it will come equipped with the converter as well there. So really well made. Edison machines their stuff really well. Very, very high standards, you know, with the threads and their machining. And you'll see that uh, it has an engraving there. Edison Penco LE Garolite Collier. The Collier is a larger pen, so it lends itself really well to a big, unique material like this. However, as you saw in the engraving, it is limited, so there won't be an infinite amount of these. The uh, caramel trim ring uh, slash grip section is visible while the pen is closed. And you might see that there's a little bit of a difference between the darkness of the cap here and the barrel. These pens will vary um, in just kind of uh, color temperature. So, um, you know, you get what you get, but they're all really, really cool looking. Um, it is a, it is while it is impregnated with epoxy, um, you know, it doesn't have a texture or anything, but it is a fiber at its base. So uh, you might be wondering, will it discolor if I get my ink all over it? 
it's possible and, and likely, especially if you get a ton of ink on it. However, um, uh, soaking it in water and then just you know going to town on it with a toothbrush from the Edison Pen Company's standpoint anyway, um, I've yet to try it. They say that works just fine and everything comes right off with no damage to the pen itself. So this is available now as was the um, Bennu Caramel, it's not Caramel, this is Caramel, Confetti Milkshake, uh, all available now. Um, this one is at the $200 price point, $199 uh, officially. And um, again, not gonna be around forever. Uh, it's uh, first for the Edison Pen Company, so I don't know if they're gonna continue to do anything like this. So it's a chance to be a part of uh, something new. So I'm excited about this. Maybe you are too. Regardless, we are going to move on to our third pen. That is going to be the Mayora Ojiva. So we've got three colors here. Um, we are going to be calling this one blue, and then brown, and then orange brown. So brown and orange brown, I think. Yes, brown and orange brown. Um, I'm going to bring them here under my phone and uh, let you see. The brown uh, isn't just brown. It's got a, kind of a whole lot going on with it. Um, it's got... It's got a lot of greens, actually. Greens, a little bit of red, a little bit of white, and all three have uh, gold dust in them. So they're calling this collection the Golden Age. Um, and all three have a sterling silver band at the base of the cap, but all of them have Yovo number no. six steel nibs, and uh, you will see the Mayora logo there. Mayora is um, one of the companies of Nino Marino, the founder and current president of the Delta Pen Company, one of the founders, I mean. Um, and Nino has Natuno, Mayora, and Delta currently. So um, if you see some similarities, that's why. You'll have a roller clip here, and then um, this pen, along with the other two colors, is a cartridge converter pen. So uh, you will see the converter there. And if you ever see a converter with one of these um, metal ends, it usually means that it's meant to be seen, which means you should probably look and check to see if there is a blind cap. And yes, there is. So if you wanted to operate the converter without removing the entire barrel, you could do that. And uh, it looks pretty. It's not really necessary, but it's an interesting feature that you don't see very often. Taking another look at some of the other colors, this one is the orange. More orange than the other one, for sure, than the brown orange. No, sorry, this is brown orange. I'm getting confused. Orange, orange brown, and just brown. So the orange brown slash brown orange is here. You see the golden age engraving there. Um, they're also referring to this one as earth. This one, elemental of fire there. And then we've got this one, water, wind, what are we thinking? This one is wind. Come on, zoom in. There we go, wind, golden age wind. Uh, officially, they're not calling the pens that. I don't know why, but um, anyway, it's blue. And it's brown and orange brown. So these are going to be $316. They are available now. So check them out, there will be more information on our website. Same with all of the pens I'll be mentioning here. So go forth and learn about all of the measurements and weights, all that good stuff. Let's gently move these to the side because I wanna bring in this box for our final pen of this video. Uh, you might guess it is going to be a Japanese pen. So Makie in this case by Namiki. This is a Yukari, and this particular pen is their Bush Clover, also known as Hagi. And there we have it, Hagi, 2023 limited edition. These will be numbered, and oh, sneak peek, that's what it looks like. I'm going to take this out. It comes with a bottle of ink in a very nice box. and there's the beautiful pen itself. So here we have the bush clover. The bush clover is also known as the hagi in Japan. It's a very, very lovely uh, kind of viney plant with uh, pink blooms. 
And uh, this pen specifically is going for $1,800. It is the Yukari model, which is one of the smaller models, you know, going, uh, just comparing their um, Machie pens in the Namiki line. You've got the Yukari Royale, which is slightly larger, and the Emperor, which is far larger. So this one's going to have their number 10 size nib. And this is a pilot um, numbering system. Uh, this is a number 10 Namiki nib. You've got your bicolor nib. So you've got rhodium and gold happening here with Mount Fuji right there at the top. And um, 69 of these were made for the US, uh, more across the sea. And um, you'll find that the number is engraved. No, I'm not letting you roll away. Stop it. All right, whatever. The number is engraved right up at the top of the clip there. So you can see this is number 209. Um, the caps also, something that you might not know about these Namikis. Sorry if the lighting's not great here. Um, the inner lining of the cap here, uh, you'll see a little bit of felt there so that when you post these pens, you don't need to worry at all about damaging any of the Machie or Urushi. So that's just a nice careful feature there. Um, you can definitely feel it. It might not be super obvious on camera, but it's definitely there. And apart from the nib, oh, it's a cartridge converter pen. It'll come with a Con 70. Boom. And of course, it'll take Pilot's proprietary cartridges as well. And there we have the art signed by the team of artists that create these. And while this is certainly lovely, the images that I'm probably already showing you are going to be even more lovely. They do have a bit of a texture to them. You can absolutely feel how the Machie, the layers upon layers and upon layers of Urushi art, um, stack on top of each other. They do create um, a noticeable texture, which is really pleasant. Um, but it's all protected by more layers of lacquer as well. So um, this pen will be resilient. A lot of folks see a pen like this and they think that it's, you know, a display piece or something to not be touched or written with. Uh, that couldn't be farther from the truth. These pens are made to absolutely be used. The artisans that craft these and paint these um, treat them in such a way that they are meant to hold up to everyday wear and tear. And um, they're... Uh, crafted to be tools to be used. So um, if you are fortunate enough to own one of these, write with it. That's what they're intended for. You're, uh, you know, um, respecting the artists by using these. So that is the Namiki Bush Clover Yukari. And um, this one I mentioned $1,800 there. Um, that covers it for today. Those are our pens. I uh, hope Hopefully you enjoyed this. I certainly always enjoy spending time with you and chatting about new pens. Who wouldn't? Thank you so much for giving me some of your time. Have fun and ride on.